Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I'm doing a collaboration with Pumpkin's Nail Station. We are doing a winter sweater themed set of nails. I'm starting off by going in with this nude colour from the Model Ones lipstick collection. It's a really gorgeous colour. I've actually got this on my own nails in this video. I'm going in, I'm giving it one coat, I'm curing for 30 seconds, and then I'll go in with another coat off camera and cure that again for 30 seconds. I will then be going in with the Umic matte top coat and giving that one good coat over the nail and I'll cure that for 60 seconds. On this nail I'm doing the typical sweater design that everyone does sort of throughout winter where you typically use acrylic powder. I'm actually going to use glow in the dark pigment today which I thought would be fun and it actually worked really 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 well. So I'm starting off by getting in the Beatles 860 gel polish. I can't remember what collection this is from. I've got quite a few of their collections now. It might be from the Mermaid Mantra. I'm not entirely sure. But I absolutely love Beatles Shell Polish. I've just simply painted some diagonal lines going up. And then I'm putting some of that glow in the dark pigment over the top. And then I'll cure that for 30 seconds. Brush off the remaining pigment. And then work on the next design. You can go over and do like your full design over the whole entire nail if you want to. But for me personally, I like to do it a little bit at a time and cure it just in case anything goes wrong. Then like the good bits are saved or, you know, the gel polish could potentially run as well. So I just like to sort of do a bit at a time, put the pigment over the top. Like I said, you can use acrylic powder. That's what most people tend to use. But I thought it'd be fun to use some glow in the dark pigment. I just pull that over the top and then I tap off the residue. I cure for 30 seconds and then I brush off the residue again. And then I go for the next bit where I've just done a straight line. This liner brush is an Akikai liner brush. I will leave it linked to my description box if it's something you would like for yourself. It's a really nice detail um, liner brush, even. <laughs> It's taken me a long time to find a good one. Aggie actually recommended this one and I really do like it. Next, I'm going in, I'm doing this sort of lightning bolt design. I suppose that's what you could call it. That's what most people tend to do on a sweater nail is the lightning bolt design. It's really simple and definitely gives that like cable knit effect that sort of going for this sort of nail art. I do also do this sort of design on the baby finger too, but I do that off camera. I thought I'd just show you on the index finger. You don't really need to see it on the baby finger too. But I'm also going in with dot and tool and just doing some dots. It's actually just a matter of doing like some different patterns really. It looks like a bit weird until it's sort of finished but it all comes together in the end. It's just a matter of like trusting the process with this sort of design I suppose. I didn't do my dots very well on this one. I'm not very good at a dot and tool. It's like one of the most simplest things to use and I'll crap at it. I know Sarah's doing this sort of cable knit sort of thing with acrylic as well. I think she's used acrylic, I'm not entirely sure. But make sure you go over to her channel and check out her design as well. I will leave pictures at the end of this video and I'll also leave her video linked in the description box. Make sure you go over and show her some love. Subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. And make sure to give her a thumbs up and all that lot on her video. Her design is really pretty, you guys absolutely love it. This sort of design, once you've finished it and you've got rid of that powder residue, you don't need to top coat it, you can leave it as it is. It's not sticky or anything like that. You could potentially top coat it if you choose to, but I don't think many people do. I don't know whether it would like the pigment would run or I'm not too sure, but you don't really need to top coat it anyway. It just gives that cool sort of 3D sort of look to it and it's definitely like resembles like the cable knit sort of jumper design. Anyhow, I've moved on to the middle finger. Again, I've gone on with that same colour from Model Ones. I've given it two coats, curing in between 30 seconds. Matt's up coating it like I did before. And on this nail, I'm doing... I Whenever I see these sort of jumpers, I think of, like, golf. So, like, golfing people, and they're, like, out on their course doing their golfing. Like, I don't know if it's very stereotypical of me. A lot of golfers sort of wear these sort of jumpers. I wouldn't really say they're very wintry. I don't know, but I thought it would sort of suit this design. So I've just sort of painted a diamond using a light blue colour from Zane. It's a really nice gel polish. I did have to give it two coats because this particular one is a little bit sheer. But it's a really nice colour. I cured that again, 30 seconds in between. And then at the top and bottom of that diamond, I've gone back in with that Beatles blue where I'm sort of painting like half diamonds. Just sort of give that like checkered i don't know if checkered is the right word you guys know that i'm terrible at doing these voiceovers i do try but i'm just terrible at them but 
I'll show you guys now what I'm trying to sort of do anyway. I only needed the one coat of that Beatles Blue. It's really pigmented gel polish. Highly recommend all their gel polish. Very on par with Umic. I'm actually pretty convinced they're the same company. But really, really top quality gel polishes at such an affordable price. Highly recommend them. They're beautiful. But once I've cured this, I will then go in with the Umic matte top coat again. I'll mattify it all. And then I'm going to go in with a silver from Beatles again. It's a really nice silver actually this one. It's kind of like, I don't know if the camera's going to show it up very well at all really. But it's kind of got like a bluey sort of purple hue to it I suppose. And it's just a really 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 nice silver. I'm just going to add some lines going across those diamonds. Just sort of give it that more checkered jumper effect. <laughs> I'm really crap at describing things aren't I? Again, using that liner brush from Akikai. It's really cheap. It's like £1.50 on AliExpress or something like that. Super affordable liner brush and it's so thin. Like, if anything, it's probably too thin, but it's still really, really, really nice to work with. I really like it. With this silver, I probably should have put a top coat over the top of it and then gone over those lines again with a glossy top coat. But I didn't. I just I wiped off the sticky layer with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and that done the trick. I, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that if you was doing this design on somebody else's nails. I would say top coat it with your matte top coat and then go over those lines with glossy top coat to make them shine. Just to kind of seal it in and make sure they don't get damaged. If like you done it the way I've done it on somebody else's nails, it probably would be quite prone to chipping maybe. It might be alright but it might chip. I don't know, it's always just good to seal things in with top coat. I don't know why I did it, but there we go. As you can see, I've gone in here with the Ica white gel polish. I've painted a little snowflake, not the best of snowflakes, but I painted a snowflake and I've gone over it with a glow in the dark white pigment. Just like with the sweater nail, the cable nail even. I've just put that pigment over it, I've cured it and then just brushed off the residue and then I'm going on to the last finger so this finger is a little bit of a pain I went over full cover of that blue from Beatles and then I went over with a glossy top coat and I decided I wanted to use the glow in the dark sparkle pigment from She Modern but I think I used it a bit sparsely because I wanted the whole entire nail to glow and it just didn't, it didn't at all really, it was just like a little bit glowy around the edges but not what I wanted I think I just didn't put enough on, it was just a bit sparse, not enough there to really give it that glow. So I was, I did actually f think I'd finish the set of nails and I ended up going back in after I saw the way they glowed and sort of tweaked it a little bit. But as you can see I've wrapped in that pigment, I'll top coat it. I then add on some little square silver rhinestones just because I wanted to incorporate some silver on this nail to sort of match up with the silver on the other nail and just sort of make it come together a bit better so I use my gem glue I put on five of these square rhinestones and then I decided I didn't I weren't quite happy with this nail so I went back in I used some of the blue pigment that I used on the other two nails and put that full cover again but it still wasn't quite given the glow that I wanted so I decided what I was going to do is add some snowflakes onto this nail. So I painted a couple of snowflakes, a couple of dots to make it look like snow in the distance, if that makes sense. And then I added some of that white glow pigment in. And yeah, eventually it did sort of glow the way I wanted it to. I just wanted every nail to have a bit of a glow on it. I just felt a bit lost. I didn't want to do another like jumpery kind of design on this nail because I felt like it was going to be too much. So I just put a couple of snowflakes just sort of incorporates well into the middle finger. I'm stuttering a lot in this video, aren't I? I'm really bad at these voiceovers. But I hope you guys are getting the gist of what I'm doing anyway. One day I'll get better at doing these voiceovers, I'm sure. Or hopefully one day I'll have enough time and enough quiet in order to be able to record audio whilst filming. But it's very noisy at my home, kids and everything, so I sort of have to do a voiceover when I've got a spare moment and a bit of peace and quiet. And yeah, I'm just really not very good at doing voiceovers. But I hope you guys have enjoyed anyway. Please make sure you go over and watch Sarah's video too. 
I really hope you like the set of nails. I'm really happy with how they turned out, actually. I think the glow on them was pretty awesome. I don't do glow in the dark very often, but I'm so glad I did with the set. I just feel like it adds a good little something. And it just looks so cool, don't they? But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing. Much love to you all. Sorry for the bad video. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye!